The times, they are a-changing. As part of a two-parent working household myself, I know what it's like to depend on childcare, as do majority of parents out there. And at Columbus Academy, they do more than just watch your child before and after school. They foster a love for lifelong learning. Mornings are busy. The alarm goes off. You rush to get the kids dressed, feed them breakfast, and grab a cup of coffee before you fly out the door. But what if your schedule doesn't match your child's? Parents that need it can come in as early as 7 and drop their kiddos off. Um, classes start at 8.05. What do they do for that hour before school? They're usually pretty sleepy and groggy, so they just kind of wake up. There's all kinds of little games and projects out for them just to explore. It's just a quiet time to kind of get ready for their day. That hour before school is open to those kids from pre-K to fifth grade, giving them a safe place to hang out. After school at Columbus Academy is filled with a few more options for any age. Alyssa King runs both the CASE program, which stands for Children's After School Experience, and ASA, which stands for After School Activities. We have our CASE program, which runs from 3 to 6. Um, we also offer what we call after school activities, where they can, um, for, for a small fee, um, do some other really amazing programs like um, Little Medical School Vet. Um, we've got Chinese, we've got hip hop, we've got all kinds of things to reach all different children. The CASE program has a ratio of one staff member to six kids. It's more of a relaxed atmosphere where the kids move through a few areas of interest. At 3 o'clock, everybody's going to eat snack because we know they need fed. Um, and then at 3.30, we need to get them outside because we need to run off the energy a little bit. And then we start rotation, so everybody gets a chance to do a little bit of everything. Um, and they go via grade group. So we might have pre-KK go together and they might start in activity. Um, and then we might have first through third go to the computer lab and fourth and fifth go outside. What did you see as maybe the, the biggest need to have more programming after school than just somebody to watch your child? Sure, things have changed. You know, when I was young, uh, you stayed out until the lights came on and you stayed with your community. We, we can't always do that now. And so this provides the child their community. And that's the thing, the ASAs, even if the parent doesn't need you to, you know, so much as watch their child, these are things they can do that are they're kind of added to, to their life, right, to their education. Absolutely. It promotes lifelong learning. If you find that thing that really makes you tick or that just lights that fire, it's going to stay with you forever. And so if they get into chess and that's something that they really connect with, um, not only is it going to build strategy skills, but it's going to build you a community later on. So it's all about connections and community. And Alyssa says the connections made between the students are just as important. The, the little ones love to be around the older kiddos and vice versa. They are they're very supportive of each other, caring, and um, they help each other. And I think the little ones watch the older ones and they're great role models. The kids here are absolutely fabulous. And what about those parents who don't have these kinds of options? Well, there are still things that you can do after school to make your child's waking hours worthwhile. You know, when you can pull off of websites all kinds of activities, Childhood 101 is a great one where you can pull off not only hands-on activities, but just thinking activities that you can do. And they're conversation starters. I, I also am a big proponent of games. Do you have advice for making them or helping parents keep them off of a device when they get home versus playing a family game and, and getting outside and having some good old-fashioned fun? I think you just have to put it in the schedule. You know, people do put limits on screen time. Devices are great. They have their place, but so does nature and so does just one-on-one -on -one talking time and rest and relaxation. All of it to be healthy, happy, and whole is important. And you can learn so much more about Columbus Academy by heading to their website. It's columbusacademy.org or call 614-509-2220 to schedule a visit.